Let's see if you can make a server leave command for your discord.js version 14 bot. So let's go ahead and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you're interested in getting the source code from this video or any of the other videos on my channel, you can go ahead and join a super god tier subscription on YouTube, or you can get a god tier subscription on Discord. We also have the bot tier, which is a full zip file of the exact bot used in the tutorial videos. And you could also get any of these four bot packages, which are fully coded Discord bots based on a specific topic. All of this will be in the description below if you're interested. And with that, let's go ahead and get into the Code. All right, so we're going to start by going over to other and we're going to go ahead and create server leave.js. Then this we're going to get our slash command builder and we're going to go ahead and get our embed builder and then we're going to go ahead and do equals require and we're going to go ahead and get our discord.js package. Then we can do module that exports and we're going to go ahead and get our data, which is going to be our new slash command builder. We're also going to go ahead and set our owner to true. If you don't have this system set up, you can watch the video in the description below. Then we're going to go ahead and set a name here and this is going to be server leave. We can go ahead and set a description and we can go ahead and say leave a guild. Then we can go ahead and add a string option and we're going to do option arrow function option as a name. This is going to be the guild we want to leave and we're going to go ahead and say a description within this we're going to go ahead and say the ID or the name of the guild to leave. Then we're gonna go ahead and say required to true. We're gonna add a comma and we're gonna do async executes. We're gonna go ahead and get our interaction and we're also gonna get our client and then we can open this up. Within this, let's go ahead and get our options and then we can go ahead and set that equal to on our interaction. We're also gonna get our guild and that's gonna be our options to get string. And from that, we're gonna get our guild string just like that. Next, we're going to go ahead and defer a reply. So we can do await interaction dot defer reply. And we're going to go ahead and set infermal to true so that we have a defer. Then we're going to go ahead and do async function. We can do send message. Let's go ahead and get our message parameter. Within this, we're going to go ahead and do const embed equals new embed builder. Let's go ahead and set a color. I'm going to go ahead and make this blurple. Then we can go ahead and say description. I'm going to go ahead and make this message as well. And then we can do await interaction edit reply. And I'm going to get our embeds and we're going to get our embed just like that. So next, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're actually going to go ahead and get our guild. So we are going to have to either get the ID or we're going to have to for each with the names. So let's just start by doing var fetched guild equals await. And we can do client.guilds.fetch. We're going to get our guild. Then we're going to go ahead and catch an error and we can just go ahead and return. So now we're going to do var guilds equals and we can do an empty array. And we're also going to go ahead and say if no fetched guild, then we can go ahead and open this up. Within this, we're going to do var and we can do gds equals await client.guilds.fetch. And then we're going to go ahead and do await gds.for each. We can go ahead and do async value and we're going to open this up. I'm going to say if value.name is equal to our guild, then we're going to go ahead and do guilds.push and we're going to push our name, which is going to be value.name and our ID, which is going to be value.id, just like that. So after we do that, we're done with that for each. So let's actually come out of that logical statement and we're going to say if and we can do fetched guild, uh, then we can go ahead and open this up. And within this, we're going to go ahead and make a bunch of logical statements. So first, we're going to go ahead and do await fetched guild and we can do dot leave and we can go ahead and do await send message and I'm going to go ahead and get a globe emoji and I'm going to go ahead and say I have left. We can do fetched guild dot name and then I'm going to go ahead and just catch an error as well. Then we're going to go ahead and say else and we're going to do if and we can do guilds dot length is greater than one we're going to open that up we're going to do await send message and within that we're going to say a caution emoji we can do backslash tick guild backslash tick this is a name that multiple servers i may have try using the guild id to narrow down this search uh, then within this we can actually go ahead and say else if and we're going to open this up and we can go ahead and say guilds dot length is equal to zero uh, then we're going to go ahead and open that up. So within this, we're going to do a wait send message. We're going to get our caution emoji and we can say, I am not in a guild matching backslash tick. We're going to get guild and then we can do backslash tick again. So after we do that, we're going to say else and we're going to do fetched guild uh, equals await client that guilds fetch and we're going to get our guilds and then we can do zero and we're going to get our ID. 
Then we can do awaits and we can do fetched guilds dot leave and we're also going to go ahead and send a message. Uh, it's actually going to be the exact same message we sent above so let's just go ahead and copy that and we're going to catch an error as well. So after doing that we are actually done with this entire command so let's go ahead and save the file, restart the bot and test this out. Alright so from the discord let's go ahead and test this out. I'm going to go ahead and get server leave and I want to go ahead and leave this server right here that my bot is in. So let's just go ahead and test it out by the name. So the name is going to be with public channel. So let's say I'm not the server owner, let's say I'm a random member, and I notice my bot's in here, and I want to leave the server. All I would have to do is get the name, and I could go into my server, and I could go ahead and do with public channel. So that's the name of the guild, and capital letters do matter, by the way. And if we go in and send it, it's going to go ahead and defer a reply, and this might take a couple of seconds, so just try to be patient. Um, and then within a couple of seconds, it should send a message replying here. And as you can see, that actually took quite a bit of time, but eventually did say I have left with public channel, so that's the name it left. If we go back over into that Discord, as you can see, the bot is no longer within the server. So we have another server that my bot's in. Again, same thing. But let's say this time I didn't know my bot was in the server, as in I'm not in the server to begin with. Um, maybe we ran a command and I could see all the servers I was in, like the serverless command that I made a video on, and I got the ID of that server. I didn't recognize it and I wanted to leave it. So then I could do server leave. I could just go ahead and paste that ID in there. And then just like before, it's going to think for a little bit. It might take a little bit of time, so just try to be patient, but it will work eventually. And as you can see, in about a minute, it said I have left with public updates. And if we go back over into that server, as you can see, now the bot is no longer there. So the last thing I want to test out is, let's say we were to try to leave a server, and we were to try to leave a ID that doesn't actually exist. So it's going to go ahead and think for a second, and... It's going to try to loop through all the servers I'm in testing that ID, but that ID does not exist with a server that I'm in, so it won't work. So we'll get an error message. The other thing we could try to do is leave a server that I'm not in using the name. So we could just go ahead and spam here. Um, and then just like before, the same thing is going to happen. So I'm just going to go ahead and give my bot a couple of seconds to think through both of these responses to show you that both of these uh, scenarios have handling systems within this code. And as you can see here, the first message is going to edit in saying I'm not in a guild matching that ID. So obviously you couldn't find a guild matching that ID, so it can't leave it. So it sends that error message. And as you can see here as well, this message is going to edit in because I'm not in a server matching that name as well. So both of these scenarios are properly handled. So as you can make a server leave command for your Discord Discord.js version 14 bot. If you do need any help with this, go to join the server in the description below and use our help channels here and we'll be happy to help you out. And you might as well just join anyways because this is a pretty good coding community. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video.